Well, I'm finally doing it guys. You guys have been wanting this for quite a while. You've been wanting a pedal video. So I have a little list over here and I'm gonna go down my list and I'm gonna go through all the pedals that I have taught here on YouTube, okay? So let's get started with pedal number one and that is the basic pedal. I'm gonna use 10 inch poly burlap. I've already cut this with a wood burner in a little bit. I'll show you how to use a wood burner when we fuse some petals together for the peekaboo petal. But right now let's just use the basic petal. And I, that's all I can say, it's just my basic flower petal. I've been doing it for several years now. But you take your finished side on the bottom, finished side at the top, I meet in the middle and I just gather. I flip it over and I bring it together, okay? But I gently take this one and go over top of the, the right one, all right? This way I have a finished edge on both sides, all right? And then I would just take this and I would zip tie it to my wreath frame. Now, here's a question I get a lot from you guys. Why are you using zip ties for some petals and pipe cleaners for others? Well, for the majority of petals that I do now, I use zip ties. But let me show you the pedal that I will use for pipe cleaners and the zip ties won't work. But this is the basic pedal and I will show you some pictures here of like a sunflower pedal and different pedals that I have used this on. Okay, originally I put out a sunflower tutorial over I think five years ago now and I used a pipe cleaner, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on here for, for just a fact here. So I'm just gonna put the pipe cleaner on. This is where I would use the pipe cleaner. I would use the pipe cleaner. I'm gonna take this piece of mesh I've already used, okay? <laughs> but I'm gonna meet in the middle, just like we did the other ones, and I'm going to gather it. Now, at this point, I just leave it like it is, and I put it in between that pipe cleaner, okay? and I twist. This is like the old school way of doing the flower wreaths. This is how we kind of started out. And then I would take another, because we're gonna stack them, I would take another petal, gather, and I would put it in between this. And that would be how I would make a sunflower wreath, okay? It's the very first video I ever put on my YouTube. If you ever wanna see it, Go to my channel, hit videos, and scroll to the bottom. You'll see this tutorial if you wanna make it. But this is when I use the pipe cleaner. Now, people have been using zip ties on reeds for years now. Um, I remember seeing Craig Bachman from Craig Bachman Imports use zip ties on a wreath. I think it was like dated back to 2013 or 2014. So anyways, but zip ties have been around a long time. And of course we use zip ties for everything. And I remember, um, watching or reading the comments and a male viewer said, you had me at zip ties and you just made my day. If you're watching now, you probably aren't, but you were watching for the bows to make bows for Christmas presents and I had them at zip ties. So I like zip ties too. Okay, so the second petal I wanna show you is the Dean Michael Daisy petal. She came up with this one and it's been a petal I use so often. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mesh, again, 10 inches is the magic number here, guys. You gotta keep that in mind, 10 inches is magic. So 10 inches long, 10 inches wide. We're gonna take our mesh, we're gonna make a triangle and then you're gonna take the long side here and you're just simply going to gather it, okay? And what that does is make a pretty daisy petal. And I use this on so many different wreaths. I might use a basic petal and then do the next row in the, the daisy petal. You can interchange these petals and that's what's nice about it. So again, thank you Trish for showing us this petal. Okay, so the other way that you can use this daisy petal is if you, normally you would go like that, right? Well, I have put it on a wreath and I have brought it up and it brings more of a dahlia cupped petal, okay? And this is really nice to use on a wreath as well. I'll try to show you a picture of something um, like this wreath in here too. So 
This is a wreath that I did and I just basically, instead of going like this, we just flipped it and I just placed all of my petals around the bar frame like so. So you can kind of get a little versatile with that daisy petal. Okay, so the next one I want to show you that again, Trish from Dean Michael Designs came up with is the pointed petal. So again, we're going to make a um, triangle. Again, 10 inches, stay with the 10 inches, okay? So I'm going to just gather it in the middle here from that point here. And basically you could do this. You can make a flower like so using this pointed, pointed technique or you can fuse this together and I'll show you how to do that here. Okay, so what I do is I have my wood burner and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the top here and I'm gonna go down and this is gonna just kind of fuse it together like so, watch your fingers. And what I like about it, it skips a step. So. If you wanted to, then you can take this and just gather it and then place all your little single petals on your wreath like so. And I have a wreath tutorial that I believe we call the pin flower, or no, not the pin flower, the pinwheel design. And so you just kind of go like this all the way around the wreath. So again, mix and match the petals. That's what's so nice about this. You can make this very, fun and easy to do just by mixing and matching the petals. So that is the pinwheel. Okay, so I wanna show you this petal. This is called, I don't know, the combination basic and daisy petal. So I, I taught this in a purple, really pretty purple flower. And you just are gonna take your regular basic flower, oops, I did that wrong. You're gonna take your basic petal, all right? Take your basic petal like that. And I just like to take my little chip clip and set that aside. And then you're gonna take another piece and you're gonna do the daisy petal. And so you're just going to gather it, make it nice and flat like a daisy petal. And then you're gonna take this one off and you're gonna go over top. And this is like a combination petal. And I really liked this tutorial. So this, let's call this the combination basic daisy petal. All right. And basically, if I can get the zip tie on. All right. That just gives a nice, that's just a nice three point petal for you. And basically what you could do is you could use the same color. I use the same color, but I know a lot of you have used a lot of different colors. This is a great way to use a plaid poly burlap. You can use this with deco mesh and these petals can be used with deco mesh. I'm just, I like a pot. I'm a poly burlap girl. So that's what I like to do. So that is the basic, let's, let's call this again, the basic daisy combination petal. Okay. So there you go. So let's do a fused petal technique here. So what I'm gonna do is get out my glass cutting board again. Gotta have that glass cutting board. I have these in my Amazon shop. And I need two things of mesh. So I've got purple here and I have some, oops, I'm being a little loud here. I have some pink. So let's do this. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the purple and I'm going to put the pink underneath of it. So what I want to do, this is a, a technique that I came up with just wanting to have more depth to the mesh that I was using, maybe save a step when I was making something. And I thought, you know, if I can burn one piece of poly burlap, why can't I burn them together? So that's when I came up with the fused petal technique. So you're just going to go down with your wood burner. You're going to cut it. And again, we're gonna cut this at 10 inches, okay? Got a couple pieces that are kind of wandering here. That's okay. So I'm gonna cut this at 10 inches. All 
All right, sometimes you gotta go. Okay, so let me show you how I'm gonna do the peekaboo pedal. But this is what you call a fused technique, all right? Isn't that pretty? So that you could do a pedal like this and you could just, you know, gather it and then you'd have a pedal. I've done that with many. You can use this with deco mesh and poly burlap together. You can use it with fabric mesh and poly burlap together, and you can use two really good quality deco meshes. Now, here's the thing. If you use products from maybe the local craft store, this is my main complaint that I hear from you guys, is that it doesn't fuse well together. So I really recommend, if you're gonna fuse any of these products together, I recommend getting your mesh from the ReShop and from Trendy Tree. I have links in the description box below. I work with both of those companies and I appreciate how hard they work in getting their a great product to their customer. So let's do this peekaboo pedal. All right, so now I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pedal, I'm going to make a triangle here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we are going to gather it about kind of halfway through. We're gonna take a third here and a third here and we just kind of bring it together, all right? So at this point, I <laughs> kind of reminds me of, you know, one of those um, jellyfishes, I guess. You're gonna either take a pipe cleaner or you can take a zip tie, but I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm just going to adhere it like so. Okay, now I'm not gonna get rid of this, all right? It's part, it's the peekaboo part. So I'm gonna pull back only part of it because I want to kind of show off that pink, really pretty color there, okay? And then I'm gonna just roll this in on both sides here and that makes our little peekaboo petal. And then you put this on a wreath frame wherever you want. You know, you might wanna do a bunch of basic, um, I think I did a tutorial where I did basic petals and then this was in the middle like two layers. But that is called my peekaboo petal. Okay, so this is gonna be a two-tone daisy petal, okay? So you're still gonna do the same type of look, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two different colors but I'm gonna put the second color a little bit about an inch to an inch and a half down, okay? You see what I'm doing there? And then I'm just gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm just gonna go down. Oops, I went way off there. I would usually have a little ruler there, but I didn't have it, okay? So this is my two-tone petal. So this way we're getting two petals out of the the two pieces here, okay? We're not wasting any. I'll end up cutting a little bit more of the other one. So what I do is I just am going to kind of turn this over a little bit underneath, and then I'm just going to um, gather, and then I'm gonna turn that over. So basically what that does, I did a really pretty navy blue and white wreath, and I used this around in the center section, I think two rows, and that is a double or a, or a a two-tone daisy petal. Okay, so now I wanna to talk to you guys about the lollipop petal. I didn't have a name for it, I just called it like a round petal, but it kind of reminds me of a lollipop, and we just kind of showed you how to do a one step of it. You're gonna take 10 inches, and you are going to make a triangle, and you're gonna look at this as thirds. Here's a third here, and here's a third here, and thirds. So I'm going to pinch my third there, pinch my third, and I'm gonna bring it together, okay? Because we want this little round lollipop look. I'm gonna bring that side in, and I'm gonna bring that side in. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just kind of play with this so that it's a nice round shape, okay? And that is what I would call a lollipop petal. I have, um, I've used this, this technique in many of my reads, and I have one that's just got this lollipop method all the way around. So that's the lollipop. Okay, so can we do the lollipop in a bigger mesh? We can, and I have a video on this where I use this really pretty purple mesh, okay? So what I like to do, and in that video, I do believe I had you guys double this up. And so if it's 21 inches long, then we need to do it 21 inches along the other way to, to make it a nice square. So what you would do 
is you could do it that way. You could cut this, all right, and do it that way. But what I think I did in that video was I doubled it up. So, gotta measure out 21 inches on both sides here, and I'm just gonna fold it over. All right. And so this will be 21 inches. I'm going to cut it right here. And the reason why I double it up on either the deco mesh or the fabric mesh is it's just a thinner piece of fa a fabric. And so I like to double up. I feel like the color gets richer when you do this. You don't have to do the step, but I like to do the step. So we have our square. We're going to take and make a triangle, okay? As you can see, doesn't that make a nice, pretty color? We're gonna take a third and a third and we're gonna meet in the middle, all right? And you're gonna have these nice round, and I like doing this method in fabric mesh because I feel like it's really, really soft. And um, I'm gonna try to leave all the links to the different videos of the methods that I'm sharing here today, like one video per method. So I'm gonna share this. This would be like the large lollipop, okay? And I like it because it reminds me of a lollipop. So there's with 21 inch mesh or 21 inch um, fabric mesh, you could use that on. Okay, so let's talk about a daisy petal using 21 inch mesh. I've, I got out 21 inch poly burlap here and this is actually not white, this is ivory. I didn't realize it. My room, my craft room was dark, but that's okay. We're gonna make this work. Okay, since this is 21 inches long, we're gonna cut it at 21 inches, all right? So I'm gonna cut it again. I don't need to use the, um, don't need to use a wood burner for this because it's, it's not gonna matter. So this petal, we are going to bring in our corners here, okay? And we're gonna make this big bow tie, all right? Now, the center of this bow tie would be right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a zip tie and go down just a little bit, about a half an inch to the right and put my zip tie on the other side of where my center is, okay? And again, I have a video for this and I'll leave it in the comments if you wanna make this daisy petal. So what I do is I kind of roll in my sides a little bit. I'm going to bring this one over and just gonna kind of roll it in. Okay, and you're gonna just start forming your petal. All right, do you see how that starts to form? And then, if you look in the back of it, that's what it's gonna look like on the back. And so that zip tie is hiding the fold. And then you're gonna just put this on your frame and you can make a daisy, a big daisy petal, kind of poof style wreath. Now in that tutorial, I show you how to double up with a deco mesh and to use deco mesh if that's what you have. So I know a lot of you guys message me, Julie, what can I do with 21 inch mesh? This is what you can do if you wanna make a flower, that is. Okay, so I just showed you the big daisy petal. Let's just look at the little one. It's not gonna look like a daisy, but it'll look like maybe, oh, a zinnia or something like that. So again, curled side up, you're going to just gather it in the middle. This, is, this right here would be where your middle would be, but we're not gonna use that. We're gonna grab a smaller zip tie and we're gonna go just right to where the middle is, okay? Right of where my fingers are holding it. I'm just gonna bring it in and you could even use, I know some people have told me that they've used, um, oh, like little hair ties. I've just never, I, I never have those in my room. <laughs> they're upstairs in the bathroom. So, and I, I just like the zip ties. They're, they're good enough for me. So I'm just gonna bring this one over and I'm going to kind of roll in the sides because I, I want the sides to be kind of tucked under and you're just going to look at this and you're gonna play around with it to get the look that you want. If you want it to be more elongated, you can do that. If you want it to be more rounded, you can just, you know, fluff it up. But that way you would have, that's what you would do with a 10 inch cut in the same petal technique. As you can see, that looks the same way as the bigger one did. So that's just kind of like a rounded, oh, I don't know, a rounded petal, a zinnia petal. 
I'm not sure, what would you call this one? I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description box. Okay, so I'm gonna take th these two pieces of fabric mesh and I'm just gonna show you how you can combine two colors to make one petal, okay? So you're gonna just take one, meet in the middle, make your um, gather there. And, and fabric mesh is different than poly burlap. The structure is different. So what I do is I put it in my thumb and I take my, you know, whatever colors I wanna do, I'm gonna do, um, you know, coordinating colors. This is not really a method. I would just do the same color. I like to add a little bit of color. So I take the other one and I'm going to put it over top of my thumb and it's going to um, make a crisscross. So basically what I do here then is I just hold it and then I bring it all up together. Okay. And I have a couple of videos where I use this technique but you could do this with poly burlap. It would just be a lot um, fuller of a petal, but then that way it kind of gives you a little bit of a feel of using more mesh. And I didn't use the fabric or the wood burner on this, so it's a little fraying, but I just wanted to show you that petal. That's a petal that I've used a lot. I haven't done it recently, so maybe we need to make a new one. Maybe try it with deco mesh, I don't know. But um, that is another petal you can make. So I want to talk about the fused petal techniques just a little bit more. I had two pieces that I've had from previous projects with you guys, but I wanted to show you, you could use this like check mesh. You can see my hand underneath there. And then like on the other side, I had an orange and I just like how you can totally change the look of mesh by adding another piece of mesh. So then you kind of make your own designer mesh color. So if you like, I don't know if you like purple and Orange, you could put purple and orange together because they sell this in purple. So I really like how they do this. So you can do many, you can do the basic petal, you could do the daisy petal. You could even take this and go right down the middle if you wanna kind of save mesh and do the daisy petal like so. And then you're, you're saving time and money um, by putting that on your wreath, okay? So there's just a lot of different things that you can do. Um, this over here is the deco mesh and the poly burlap. I wanted to kind of show you this. I kind of came up with this idea. I made, um, a wreath for my grandmother's funeral. And, um, back then I used, I didn't fuse it together, but I layered it. And then once I figured out I could fuse it, of course it made that much, that step easier to make. But again, I made a tutorial with just using basically the basic petal for this wreath and it just turned out so pretty and it's just really pretty. I like how you could take um, basic colors, bring them together and make like jewel tones. So that's what I like about my fused petal technique. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about um, burlap that's like five and a half inches or five inches, okay? I may, I've made many wreaths with this burlap from Hobby Lobby. Now, what is the difference between this and like brown burlap? Usually the brown burlap isn't as knitted tightly together, so I do like that. So what I like to do is I cut this at an angle and I know that was a little confusing for people. So what I want you to do is I want you to start your burlap off at an angle. So I would recommend about two inches. So if it was started out here, I wanted it to end two inches over, over there. So you just kind of start it off. Now here's the key to this. Then you turn it at an angle, okay? So that it's going with the line. So right here, let's do the 10 inch line. You need to cut now this from here to here, which is the 18 inch line, okay? So I'm gonna cut it right there. When I do that, I'm gonna follow the line, okay? So when I turn it, it makes a longer petal. It really does. It makes it like 10 inches to 10 inches here and eight inches to eight inches here. So it's, it's a little weird on the math, but that's how we do it. So start off at an angle and then then turn it so it's flat by the line and then cut it the eight inches later, okay? So that makes your petal. So how do we make this petal? We start at the short end and we're gonna go to the short end and we're just gonna gather. And as we gather, 
we're gonna kind of bring it over like the basic petal. It's like a miniature basic petal and that's your petal. And then you're just going to attach it to your wreath frame with a pipe cleaner and that's what you're gonna do. So I have many techniques or many tutorials on this. I will leave some in the description box below. All right, now you have a full video with all the petals. I know I'll probably make up some new petals in the future and we'll have to do a video then, but this was a long process for me. So if you made it this far in the video, I always ask you to leave me an emoji and I do that because that way I know you watch the video and it just makes my day. So leave me your favorite flower emoji in the comments below. Tell me which flower or wreath that you're gonna try and make sure you check out the description box for all of the videos that you can watch using these techniques. And you can find the links for the wreath shop and Trendy Tree and all my favorite tools that I have in the Amazon store as well. So until next time, We'll see you later. Bye-bye.